with more than $1 billion wagered every month since September 2021. We can see that wagers totaled a little over $4 billion in 2018. And in 2021, we reached record highs of nearly $11 billion. The increase in sports wagers from 2018 to 2021 increased by 166%. And given this significant upward trajectory over a short period of time, I have no doubt that these numbers will continue to grow. But outside of the availability of legal sports betting, what can also be contributing to this increase? I'm sure all of you have seen the onslaught of advertising encouraging people to gamble. There are so many gambling ads, it has been called predatory advertising. When we look at the cost of gambling television ads, we can see that Barron's Magazine found that in 2020, $292 million was spent on gambling television ads. And only one year later, in 2021, the cost increased to $725 million, nearly two and a half times more than the prior year. Think about that for a moment. Two and a half times more were spent on gambling advertising ads from the prior year. These messages increase the likelihood of state resident residents potentially developing a gambling problem. And for those who have recognized they have a gambling problem, incessant advertising can be an accelerator for individuals to relapse and break their gambling sobriety. So what can we do to address this epidemic in the making? We can develop public service announcements sponsored by the state of New Jersey, much like COVID, to inform the public about gambling risks and available services to address those who are struggling. We can set advertising limits and parameters similar to alcohol commercials. We can require warning labels on gambling sites and at brick and mortar casinos regarding the potentially addictive nature of gambling, like those on cigarettes, and of course, we can continue to provide education and awareness.